What's up, guys? Luxide coming to you here on the Clear Cryptos YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, feel free to like, subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when all of our videos, live streams, shorts, everything like that goes live. We got tons of it coming your way. So I want to talk to you today about stablecoins. So you may be asking, what the heck is a stablecoin, right? I just I got my money. I just want to get it into crypto. Well, in the world of decentralized finance, you're going to need to have something called a stablecoin. So what it is, is it's a cryptocurrency that is designed to have a relatively stable price, typically through being pegged to a commodity or currency or having its supply regulated by an algorithm, okay? So the largest crypto, or the largest crypto, largest stable coins that exist in cryptocurrency as of right now are USDT or Tether and USDC or US dollar coin. You can see right here that both of those combine for about $120 billion worth of, of currency, right? So you may be thinking, oh my gosh, this is just a digital currency. And you know, how is it uh, how does it actually have value? Okay. So the stable coins, they are actually backed by quite a few different things. So that includes uh fiat, so your paper currency, right? Or money in your bank account. Uh, other cryptocurrencies, precious metals, algorithmic functions, stuff like that. Now you may be saying, well, why don't they just have, you know, fiat or US dollars or whatever you're, you're, you know, using to, to get your money into crypto with on this decentralized finance? Well, it's a little complicated, but the reason for it is so that you can swap easily from one crypto to another without actually having to off ramp your money or convert it back to your fiat. Right. So it, it because everything is done on, on decentralized finance is basically swapping from one coin to another. Now, are there off ramps for let's say you made a bunch of money, right? You want to cash out. OK. Are there off ramps to get your money out of these uh, stable coins? Yes, there are. So as of right now, the easiest ways are through some of your centralized finance uh, places like your exchanges, you know, some of the larger ones out there. Those are some of the easiest ways, but there will be more stuff that is coming as the world of crypto is ever evolving. Now, you know, stable coins, they might be seem kind of like a boring area, but if you're ever in an investment and you want to basically try to maintain, you know, where the value of your dollar is at, they become that's where they come into play, right? Now, you do have to do your research on what stable coins you're going to use. There are some ones out there that are better than others or are more transparent than others. For example, two of the, the top ones that I showed to you, USDC especially, they're very good about uh, providing a report that shows you what is actually backing the USDC coins that are currently on the market. Now, there are some other ones that have not done so well and some other ones that have crashed. So you do have to be very careful about which stable coins you are using in decentralized finance. Now, again, this is not financial advice, not to tell you what to do, but it is something that you do need to be aware of, especially if you are just getting into cryptocurrency. So once again, make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button, the subscribe, and you'll know when all of our content goes live. Tons of it, tons of it coming your way. Tons of cool stuff. Great announcements coming as well. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll uh, talk to you soon.